Hi there, in this video, we'll start the Logix 5000 family of Allen Bradley controllers. First, we'll have a short introduction. Then, we'll use Ars Logix 5000, and also Ars Logix Emulate 5000 software, to write and test a simple program on our computers, without using any real processor. So, this video will be useful, especially for those who want to learn Ars Logix 5000 software, and don't have any real PLC. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to inform you about all the great content, I have been releasing on the PLC Goods YouTube channel, which includes industrial automation PLC programming, HMI and microcontroller based developments. My name is Syed Reza, and if you enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell, to receive the latest and the greatest content, I will be posting through the channel. Alright, do you remember this pyramid? The industrial automation pyramid. Until now, we have learned basic instructions and features of the Ars Logix 500 software. As you know, this software can be used to program and configure SLC 500 and Micrologix PLCs. Now, we're going to learn RS Logix 5000 software, which can be used to configure and program the Logix 5000 family of Allen Bradley controllers. Before starting this tutorial, note that, every effort has been made to ensure our videos as accurate as possible. However, there may be mistakes, both typographical and in content. So, our videos should be used as a general guide and not as the solution. And, we do not warrant or guarantee any of the products described herein. Also, we do not warrant or guarantee any of the equipment or programs described herein, or accept liability for any damages resulting from their use. In consequence, the viewer is warned that electricity and the construction of electrical equipment are dangerous. It is the responsibility of the viewer to use common sense and safe electrical and mechanical practices. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use Ars Logix 5000 software, to configure and program the Logix 5000 family of Allen Bradley controllers. Let's do a simple project which uses a push button to turn on a signal lamp. As you know, this is a simple program in ladder logic. Like industrial circuits, suppose this a virtual power line. I need to use the digital input address, which is connected to the push button, for this contact. So, when I press the push button, this contact will pass the virtual power to this output. And if I use the digital output address, which is connected to the signal lamp, the PLC will turn on the signal lamp. In this video, I suppose you don't have any real PLC. So, I will use Ars Logix 5000 to write this simple program, after that, I will use Ars Link software to make a connection between my computer and a virtual PLC station. This virtual PLC can be created by the Ars Logix Emulate 5000. Alright. Let's open Ars Logix 5000 software. Let's create a new project. As you see, this software is similar to Ars Logix 500 which has been explained before. Here we can see and change the CPU mode. In this window, I can manage the inserted controller. For example, double click on the main routine to write a program, or configure the PLC hardware under the I.O. configuration. Here we can see instructions that can be used to write a PLC program. As you know, here is the working area, which is usually used to write and modify the PLC program. Well, let's see how we can have a virtual PLC station, using Ars Logix Emulate 5000 software. As you see, here is a virtual chassis. 
I can right click on each slot to insert a controller or an input output simulator. Let's select the emulator Arslogix Emulate 5000 controller, to insert a processor, to the virtual chassis. Here, I reset its configuration to default values. Pay attention to the selected version. I select version 20. This number will be used in the Arslogix 5000 software too. I don't change these parameters and click on finish. As you see, a virtual processor has been added to the virtual chassis. Similarly, let me select the 32 point input output simulator. I reset its configuration to default values, and then, select a name for that. Well, you can add processors or input output modules on each slot, or remove them. Now, let me use Arslink software to connect my computer, to the created virtual PLC station. If you remember, this software was explained before, when I was using Arslogix 500 software, to program my Micrologix 1500 processor. Now, I click on this icon, configure drivers, to make a new connection. To make a connection with the virtual PLC station, which has been created by the RS Logix Emulate 5000 software, I must select the virtual backplane. Now, I click on add, select its default name. Here, I can change the RS Link slot number. Now, its slot number is 0. Let me change its slot number to 5, to see its result on the virtual chassis. Well, let me use slot number 0 for the RS Link software. Alright, the created driver is in running mode. Let back to RS Link software. As you can see, Ars Lynx detected the virtual PLC station, and also its modules. Alright, let's back to Ars Logix 5000 software. I must configure the virtual hardware on Ars Logix 5000. First, the appropriate CPU model must be selected. Here are two ways to change the CPU. The first choice is, create another project. Here, in this menu, the Arslogix Emulate 5000 controllers must be selected as the processor type. If you remember, I have selected version 20 for the virtual processor. So, I select 20 here. Then, I write a name for the new controller. Here the appropriate chassis type must be selected. As you see, the virtual chassis has 17 slots. Pay attention, the virtual processor has been installed on slot number 2. So, this slot number must be changed to number 2. Now, I can change this path, where the project will be created there, and then click on OK. But let me show you, how we can change CPU properties, in the created project. Right click on the previous CPU and click on properties. Then click on change controller. At this window, select the appropriate controller and also its version. Here are two errors because I didn't assign an address for this output and its previous contact. I will assign their address later. As you know, the virtual processor has been installed on slot number 2. Well, I have selected the appropriate controller. Now, I'm going to configure this module. So, I right click on the chassis and select new module. At this window, all valid modules were divided based on category and vendor. Here, I select the other category, and insert this module. In this window, 
I must determine the new module properties. First, write a name for that, then determine its slot number, the input-output module has been installed on slot number 3. On the right side, there are connection parameters, you can fill them like me, but pay attention to these values, which determines input-output size. For example, the inserted module will support 64 digital input. If you right click on each module and select properties, you will able to change its parameters. Let me change the request packet interval time from 5 to 50 milliseconds. Alright, I configured my hardware. Now let's complete the PLC program, I must select an input output address for inserted instructions. Let's go to the virtual PLC station. Right click on this module and select properties. Click on IO data tab. Here I can change 32 digital inputs, and see the state of 32 digital outputs. How we can use these digital inputs in my program. Let's go to controller tags. Here you can see a table associate with the used input output module in slot number 3. This table has three rows, associated with configuration, input and output bits of the inserted module. If you remember, I've entered number 2 for the input size. So, here are two rows. Alright, to use these digital inputs in my program, I must use the second 32 addresses. For example, let's use the first digital input to activate the output. Here I write start as this digital input address description. Similarly, let me show you the output digital addresses. Well. To use these 32 digital outputs, I can use these 32 addresses. Let's use the third digital output address. Now. Let's back to the main program and use selected input-output addresses. Now. Let's compile the program to ensure there isn't any error. Click on communication and select who active. As you see, I can connect to the virtual processor. Let's select it and download the program. Let's go to run mode. Now, let me activate the first digital input. As you can see, based on my program, the PLC turned on the third output. Alright, I hope, you have learned using ArsLogix Emulate 5000 software, to create and use a virtual PLC station. In the next video, I'll show you, how I can connect to my PLC via serial and Ethernet ports. Thanks for watching my content, if you have any question on this topic make sure you leave them in the comment section below, and if you can spend a few seconds of your time liking as well as sharing this video, if you enjoyed it, that will mean a lot to me. If you have any suggestions for the channel such as what kind of hardware or software I should be covering, then make sure to leave that in the comment section. See you next time. Bye bye.